back again. This time on the Fuji X-H2. Um, I'm trying this from MPB. Uh, I love it. I don't know that I can justify keeping it. I have an X-T3 that works great for stills. Um, the Nikon Z6 II, I'm comparing what the video is. So the video, my last video from this morning was was pretty great. I got the settings how I wanted them. Uh, I know the X-H2 video is great too. I've been going around indoors um, at night uh, just by the light of the fireplace, maybe a little lamp in the corner. Um, they both do fantastic in low light indoors uh, for video and for pictures stills. Um, what I've noticed is that the Z6 II, even though it's shooting on the 24-120 f4, um, and what this guy was shooting on was the 23 mil, which is the 35 full frame equivalent, um, I had the aperture set to auto. Um, so even though, and that's the newer 23 millimeter Fuji lens, uh, the prime, the 1.4 four prime. So even though uh, the aperture lets in a lot more light on the Fuji, I, you know, this is not a surprise, the sensor size, the full frame sensor versus the crop sensor on the Fuji. Um, even though I'm working on an f4 with an icon lens and 24 megapixel sensor uh, versus this guy right here, uh, which is a 40 megapixel sensor now um, and I'm not shooting on that 23 mil by the way for this lens uh, just to do apples to apples I have the kit lens on this uh, 1855 and I'm not talking apples to apples lens quality I'm talking apples to apples uh, focal length so uh, what I had on the Nikon 24 to 120 I think I was filming that at 28 to 30 somewhere in that range it's hard to tell exactly um, full frame so on this I have it set mm, just this is an 18 to 55 I'm not at 18 I'm a little beyond 18 maybe maybe 19 or 20 so it should be uh, just about the same uh, framing here I've got the tripod in the exact same place um, so we will see uh, how we do, uh, again, we're going the built-in mic on the Fuji camera. Um, I have a mic that I'll be using. Uh, it's a Rode Pro something or other that I got some years ago. It will attach to the top of that and plug in on the side. Um, I also have a desktop Blue Yeti uh, wired mic that maybe I'll do sometimes, maybe not. But what I wanted to test is just these cameras. If I'm out in the wild or if I'm walking around wherever, I don't have any external equipment. I'm just walking around um, and I want to shoot some video. Which of these is better? And so far I've concluded that they're one's better in some uh, instances, the other is better in other instances. They're both amazingly good, plenty good enough. But also how good are they compared to the iPhone? I have the 14 Pro, um, I've always used that for video. That's why even though I've been into the cameras for going on six years now, I never even attempt video with them because with the iPhone, with the stabilization, with the low light uh, video quality, it's, I always have it, it's just, it's, it's hard to beat that unless you really know what you're doing with these cameras. And then, yeah, you can definitely beat the iPhone video when you know what you're doing. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to get to know what I'm doing um, after years of reading and watching what other people have to say about it. I'm just getting in there and this guy and this guy uh, checking them both out and we will see what we see. Uh, that's it for now. Bye.